Hello and welcome to this new video. Today I will show you how you can create your own plugin with C++ inside Unreal Engine. First of all, you should create a blank project and uh, select C++ and name it however you want. I will call my plugin tutorial and I will hit on create. So while we wait, I want to talk about how I want to create my videos in the future. I want to keep them as short as possible and I want to explain everything as detailed as possible. Uh, but nowadays the attention span of many viewers on YouTube is just short and I want my channel to grow. That's why I want to keep the video short. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe as many of my viewers are just watching and not subscribed. The first thing you're gonna notice is that actually Visual Studio opened as well as the Unreal Engine. Um, so let's see what we have here. We have our engine and our games. Uh, this is the game uh, plugin tutorial and here we have the source and stuff. If you want to create a new plugin, you need to go to plugins and hit on add. Because we selected C++ at the beginning, um, we can now choose between different templates or create a blank one. Um, I will just uh, show you for now how to create a just some new blueprint nodes. I will call it I will call it blueprint extension for now and I will hit on create plugin. Okay, so once the plugin is created, we can directly start uh, actually programming. And so you will find your plugin under project and under other and you can add many new things here like the icon or the name or the description and so on. You actually need to put for everything an URL if you want to sell your plugins, but we will um, go over that in a future video. Uh, for now, I will just show you what you can do. Okay, um, if we open if we open Visual Studio, we can just click on Reload All, and it will reload the the project and we can go to plugins and to our newly created plugin. Okay, in here there's our plugin. We have resources like our icon and source where our code is. We also have the .u plugin um, that's like just a um, text that uh, contains these informations. Okay, but if we go back to Visual Studio, we can. If we go back to Visual Studio, we can actually um, see our source, and we have private and public. And uh, if you never programmed in C++ before, here is how to do it. So, if we open uh, not this, but if we open the Blueprint library, the .h and the .cpp, we can actually see many new things. I will just delete this and save it. Okay, so what we have here is just some um, uh, basic code and actually our first blueprint function. Um, you can see many new f things here. For example, um, the display name is not the same as the actual name. Um, we have a static float function, so it will return a float and an input parameter parameter also a, a also a float and um, we also have some keywords and a category uh, we could also put an a description and many new other things as well as uh, having multiple outputs not just only one um, uh, but you actually can see this name and if you go to the cpp file you can actually find this here uh, and what this function actually does is just returning minus one every time you call this. Um, okay, uh, we will start programming a bit and then I think I will finish this video. Uh, we can actually delete the first part and actually uh, just delete the u class part and one underscore. And we want to completely start over and create um, a new function. So, so just delete this. Okay. Uh, now we can put a U function in here and in the next line a static uh, void. 
and we will call it the test function. Okay, so this is already our basic code, and to actually make it uh, make it available in um, blueprints, we need to put in blueprint callable. Uh, okay, and to actually do something when we uh, when we execute this function, we need to go into here and create a function, but this will turn red. Why is that? Because we actually need to add a void and add new blueprint and then the name of, uh, of your .h file blueprint oh sorry blueprint blueprint bp library okay and now new blueprint Extension, I'm sorry. Blueprint library. Okay, and this is perfect. And so because we created a static void, we don't actually need to return something. So we can just execute something without returning anything. However, if you want to return something, uh, you can actually put like a static float in here and then you need to rename this float and then you need to return a, a float value like this and this should work and um, another thing what if you want to return more than a float like maybe you want to have a bool return value uh, that indicates if the function executed properly and then a float for example so what I will do is just uh, put this to bool and we will return true for now. And here we need to stat we need a static bool, and this will return a, a bool function. For example, if we if I go into a random blueprint, I will show you what I mean. Okay, in here we can actually talk, call the test function that was already there uh, where we started. Um, and you can see so for example if i pull if i pull this up again this would be a bool now and it will also say return value and if i um, was about to add like a float value that i want to call um, test we can actually copy this I also put this in here uh, this would be here like an input value but what if you want multiple output outputs? For input, it's clear, I guess. You just add uh, a new, like for example, integer. I call this test two, or a better name. I will call this input, and input two. Call this input one, input two, and I will copy this and put this to here. And now I want to return. Uh, something else as well. Uh, I will just for that. I will just put uh, the thing I want to return. For example, a f string. I will um, do a and symbol and then the name like return value two. Okay. Uh, we will also copy this and paste it in here. And if you want to return something here, and um, we actually need to put it uh, above the actual return uh, thing. Okay, so I want to return hello. Okay, save this all and then go back to the engine and hit on compile. I like to not enable live coding you can however i i don't I just don't like the live coding stuff so i will just uh, compile it like this okay after uh, the compile completed we actually need to restart the engine in order to see our new blueprint node uh, for that i would highly recommend you to download and install the restart engine plugin 
Uh, this is pretty useful as you can just hit restart all the time and don't need to close the engine and restart it by hand. Uh, okay. Okay, once the engine is restarted, we can actually go into a random blueprint. I will go into this level and open the level blueprint uh, here. Okay, and here you actually see that our old node is not available any longer because we uh, remove it from our code. Now we have our new one and we called it test function. So we'll search for test function and it's actually here. As you can see, we we as you can see we created our own function and you can put your own code in here. Now you know the basics. In the next video we will talk more about how to create plugins and how to code inside Unreal Engine as there is um, not very much documentation about C++ pro programming inside Unreal Engine. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please press like and goodbye.